Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sales with Jay and Ron. Yep, where we are teaching script readers how to become pro salespeople. All right, guys, let's jump into today's topic. We're going to be talking about negotiation tips. Yeah, so jumping into it is pushing away. So anytime you're negotiating with a seller or anybody in business, a great tactic to use is pushing away. And it goes something like this, like, hey, Ronnie, you know, I know you're looking to maybe sell your house right now. But it seems like, you know, you're not in a rush. The house is in great condition. I, I think you could probably list it on the market. What do you think about that? Ah, oh, I wish I could. Um, I can't. You can't? See, I could definitely buy this from you. We could maybe, you know, help get this done for you. But I feel like in your situation, you know, why not at least try to fix it up yourself and then, you know, see if you can get a little bit more. No, I'm, I'm with you. I, I just really need to sell. I, I owe a lot of money, not only to this house, but just to... I have a lot. I have a lot of debt people just calling me nonstop, and honestly, man, I just want to get. I just want to sell this house, pay everyone, and just start fresh. You know. I hear you. Boom, guys. Boom. There it is. I didn't sell myself. I didn't try to do all the talking. I just kind of made a few statements on what he can do that isn't an option. That would be me buying it and just seeing how he reacts. That's why you want to push away, right? Jagger is not selling. He's not pulling someone in, right? He's pushing and letting the seller pull Jagger in, which tells Jagger now, okay, now you need, now I know you need me. Guys, if you ever find yourself pulling, trying to sell, just know you're going to lose to someone like us. Uh, number two, it is making a statement. Guys, don't ask dangerous questions. Why do it to yourself? Just make a statement. Instead of asking someone, hey, do you have a mortgage? That might be personal. Just be like, hey, you've owned it for how long? 20 years? Wow, you don't even have a mortgage on the property. And another great way to uh, take that to the next level is when you're negotiating, right? Instead of saying, do you have a lower price that you take? Most people would say no, because why would they? Be like, you, you wouldn't take less than this, right? See what I did there? You don't wouldn't take less than this, right? And then if they say, damn right, you know that that's where they need to be. And then if they say, ah, I might have some room, then you know you can actually work off of that a the, little bit more. Yeah, the last example is, um, this happens a lot of like... Uh, when, it's, uh, when they're a married couple, and let's say you're only speaking to one of them, a lot of times they like to use it all the way in the end. They'll say, oh, I got to speak to my wife. So I like to throw that in the beginning. Hey, so, Jagger, even if me and you come to an agreement, you still got to speak to your wife. Um, yeah, I, of course I would have to speak to my wife. All right, that makes sense. So before we even talk about the next steps and all that, let's, let's see if we can kind of get your wife on. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Boom, guys. And that's important because now, let's say Jagger goes the other way and he doesn't mention, he says no, that he doesn't have to consult wife, right? So, hey, Jagger, so, um, you know, you mentioned that you're married, you mentioned your wife is in the deed, so you have to speak to her before you make a decision. No, I can make this decision on my own. Got it. So you're telling me that if me and you come to an agreement, your wife is going to sign whatever you say? Yeah. Perfect. Guys, the reason why that's important is because now and if later on, if he tries to make an excuse, he can't anymore. Right. Because look how convicting he was about like, no, it's me. It's me. It's me. So now it's his word against himself as opposed to you versus him always yeah. works. And guys, that's why it's really important to stay a step behind because yep. Ronnie's thinking about the things he needs later to make the deal happen, but trying to get them up front now. Yep. And I feel like that goes right into a great video on temp where you really want to make sure you are staying a step behind and thinking about the important things you need to get this deal done.